It had been over a year since we parted ways with Rick, Sasha, Tiki, and our floating home for six magical months, sophisticated lady. It was a time in my life that I will never forget. Getting rocked to sleep every night by the ocean, diving tiny islands in the middle of the Caribbean Sea, the excitement of a brand new destination on the horizon. Of course, it had its challenges too, but those memories all fade with time. So when Rick invited us to come down for a visit, we couldn't pack our bags fast enough. However, we weren't the only visitors Rick was expecting. The crew of SV Delos were also heading to Grenada for hurricane season, so we were beyond stoked for what was to come. We boarded a plane to St. George in Grenada, and as soon as we stepped out of the airport, we were bombarded with the bright colors, lush landscapes, and hustle and bustle of this Southern Caribbean gem. We arrived at the marina just in time to spot the lady as she approached from the horizon. Oh, you're so pretty, Teeks. Missed you. Reunited and it feels so good. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm a lightweight. I don't drink that much these days. I got like two drinks in me and I'm feeling pretty. Feeling buzzed. Pretty sauced. I feel great. We're back in the Caribbean. We got the Rickster. We got Sasha. We got Tiki. Back in the dinghy. It's been a minute, right? Oh, man. I flooded this thing once. I've done some bad things to this boat. I woke up in the middle of the night last night and I forgot that I was on a sailboat and you know the boat was moving and there was all the crazy sounds and I kind of woke up freaked out and then I remembered that we are back in the Caribbean on a sailboat and that all is well. We had a really fun night last night. We went to this place called Hog Island which was just kind of like um, the Sunday gathering place and there's people jamming out and just drinking beer and hanging out. It was a beautiful sunset. And then um, we just went back to the boat and Nate hula hooped for like an hour and then we went to bed pretty early. All right, I don't know exactly what's going on, but Sasha just yelled for me to come over. And I'm guessing that means Delos is close. Let's see what's going on over here. How's it going? Oh. Yeah. Sasha's so cute. So they left 18 hours ago from Trinidad. 80 miles, 18 hours. Eesh. We'll see. Yeah. Apparently going straight up wind into the current, so probably wasn't the best sail. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh. Wow. Is it dry at least? So it's not That's like. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fine. Oopsies. I hope we don't get in trouble for that. <laughs> We're all good. All systems check. Engines warmed up. Main sails unpacked. Now let's go out and greet Delos. Woohoo! Okay, fenders off. You ready? It's been a minute since we've. Uh... Nate and I haven't launched a drone off a sailboat in over a year, year and a half. We're quite the quite the drone team, but we've had one or two really, really <laughs> terrifying moments where I thought I was gonna get my face chopped off slash drop our drone in the ocean. A little nervous, a little gusty, a couple waves coming over the bow. What could go wrong, right? Yeah. <laughs>
welcome to the Caribbean, man. Well, thank you. Thanks for coming out to welcome us in big balls for flying the drone in the wind like that. There's very shallow reef on each side, so you just follow us in, and we got a spot marked out for inside the marina. Cool. All right. Well, uh, it's been a hell of a trip for us. We got rocked around pretty good last night, but uh, we made it, so that's sweet. Once we all made it back to the marina, we cracked a few beers in the cockpit of Delos and made introductions. You might be looking around and wondering, how the hell do so many people fit on two sailboats? And the short answer is, they don't. Rick and Sasha live on Sophisticated Lady, and they have an extra crew member, Michelle, on board. They also had two charter guests on board, Bill and Lori, and a visiting patron named John. And then there's Delos whose full-time residents are Brian, Brady, Karen, and Blue. They had two patrons visiting as well, Eric and Maureen. And finally, Maureen's husband, Colin, who made a surprise visit to meet her when she arrived here in Grenada. And then there's us, Nate and Jordan, former crew of The Lady, current fans of Delos, and fellow divers, sailors, and citizens of the ocean. We chatted the night away, and with the help of some of John's moonshine, Wilkes County, North Carolina, we became old friends in no time at all. Three, two, one, cheese, motherfucker! check out our digs from last night. One of the couples that was staying on Delos, they had this villa for the night and we, through a series of kind of misplanning, ended up not having a boat to stay on tonight. So they let us sleep on their couch, which is actually a pullout bed in this like beautiful paradise villa. Yeah, this is like our little patio. And then this is our bed. Check out this bed, how cool is that? This is what it looked like when we woke up this morning. I'm gonna recreate. I'm gonna recreate the moment for you of what it was like when we woke up. I was all sleepy, covered in my blanket like a little sleeping angel, just like this. And then I opened my eyes, and this is what I saw. What's our plan today, Jordan? The plan is. Uh, it's pretty rough out on the water today, so we decided it would be a good day to check out some of the inland areas. And we're going to go to a waterfall that's called, um, I think it's called Seven Sisters. Or they have the same sunglasses as us? They're yours. Oh, okay. I borrowed them. <laughs> Holy shit! We piled into a taxi with our mob of salty sailors and about a thousand cameras between us. We climbed our way up into Grenada's lush, high mountain interior, and as the elevation raised, the jungle just kept getting thicker and thicker. We cruised up to the trailhead for what is considered to be one of Grenada's most beautiful natural features, the Seven Sisters Waterfall. Get back! Get, Get back! Out here. We're not mature enough to handle these. I'm going to go down there to the waterfalls with you guys. On the way back, I bring your ghost safe, and I bring you back safe. <laughs> Hey there, little buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you tell him. We're in the jungle on our way down to the falls. It is just stunning here. It's so cool. Standing straight up. This is not the way I picked it. And that is one beautiful waterfall. Apparently, you can jump from this top part right here. He says it's deep enough to jump. This is our first kind of big mission on Grenada, and it's really, really impressive. Is it a dream or a memory? You just saw the hair on me. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, she lost her top. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Here he goes. Go. 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 Go.
Getting ready to push off the dock here in a few minutes, hopefully. We're just waiting to get water filled up and then we're gonna head around this corner over here and we're gonna go check out a cool little bay and Delos is coming as well and we're gonna hang out and swim and hopefully do some scuba diving. Pretty excited about it. And Tiki's ready. I know she is. I just can't even believe this is happening right now. <laughs> Back on Rick's boat, out at sea, Delos clipping at our heels. This is really just a dream come true. This is such a great day. So we're about to turn downwind and go through the two reefs. This is Hog Island Anchorage in here. We're gonna go around Mount Hartman right there. Cute. We'll pull up in behind the behind the cliff. That'll stall our window. We'll pull in the jib and go find an anchor spot. We made it. Check it out, you guys. It is beautiful. After getting a deluxe braid job from my new hairstylist, Blue, it was time for our most favorite thing in the whole wide world. It's scuba time! I'm so excited. We're just getting all the gear ready and then um, Brian's gonna come pick us up and we're gonna cruise over to a reef that's like over there. We passed on the way in and not really expecting anything epic from the dive, but the boys are hoping to um, spear some lionfish and maybe have some lionfish for dinner. And I'm just excited about getting in the water, so should be good either way. We packed the dinghy full of equipment and camera gear and then putzed our way out to a spot that was giving off some serious lionfish vibes. We searched high and low, but we hadn't spotted any lionfish yet. We did, however, stumble upon a small wreck, which was an unexpected but quite pleasant surprise. Well, we didn't find any lionfish, but you know what? This is okay. I'm just happy to get my kill wet again. First dive with Dennis. Well, it's been a pretty good day so far. We did some sailing and some diving, and now we're making a bunch of dinner and having a couple of drinks, and um, we're doing like a big family style dinner. Me and Sasha have been working on making a bunch of veggies over here. Hi guys. Yeah. Big pan, all the veggies. Um, yeah, we've got to feed like 15 people though, so it's been a lot of chopping. Chop, 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 chop. And somewhere around here is my vodka passion fruit drink. Nine? You're gonna have like a oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's, it's no, it's no joke. Like, I mean, I just, I just, yeah. you know. And then we've got Chef Boyer Rick over here. Caribbean jerk chicken. It's just chicken made by a jerk. <laughs> you didn't hear. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> that worked. Ooh. How's it? <laughs> Hi. Hey. 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 I know. I like it. Yeah, I got you look like yeah. studious. I know. I was like, you look sophisticated lady. Yeah. yeah. You Thank you. <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah. Are you a sophisticated lady too? Well, no, not very much. <laughs> just, a just a regular lady. Jogging 
pants. Yeah. Fast pants. Fast pants. Fast pants. Yeah. Oh, let Jordan do it. This is her know, metal right? detector. I just saw it. I was like, man, I really want an underwater metal detector. And I Googled it. <laughs> and I found this one. And it was normally, it's like $1,000. But it was on sale for like 200 So I bought it. it. How yeah. deep can it go? I think I have to look. I think it can go to like 100 feet. What? Yeah. So I haven't used it since then. And I bought it like on an impulse. And so when we were coming to impulse the Caribbean, buy. I was like, I got to bring it. That's what I need from Utah. No, no, but how do those headphones work on the water? They're waterproof. Oh. Oh, yeah, we got some metal works. on the boat. Oh, yeah. Like, Good night, baby. Good night. Love you. Love you too. That little asshole at about 6 a.m. started squawking. Delos, Delos, Leo, Leo, Delos. And uh, that was it for me. No more sleep. <laughs> After our obnoxious parrot wake-up call, we headed over towards the southwest tip of the island to embark on a pretty sweet diving mission. So we're really excited to do a dive that we've been trying to do since like the first day that we got here and it just hasn't really worked out. And it's Grenada's, probably one of Grenada's most famous dives and it's an underwater sculpture park and it's the first ever underwater sculpture park. We were headed out with a dive company called Aquanauts and our new friend Robin, who showed us an amazing time while we were in Grenada. We made the short descent and began our swim over to the sculpture park, which is made up of 65 pieces of art, spanning an area of over 800 square meters. These sculptures have been underwater since 2006, and in that time, the ocean has put its own artistic twist on the pieces, overtaking the faces and bodies with slow-growing and ever-changing life forms. The big, the big D was speaking to Kaza. Big D. The big D. What you got there, babe? We're getting ready to make the Caribbean debut of the Viper Trident, the official metal detector sponsor of here at Nugget Nation. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go see if we can find some pirate treasure. How's this baby work? So this guy right here, you've obviously you've got your controls here. You can switch it on, and then once you're on, you can set it to like a higher level of yeah. detecting. And then here, I can 
set the discrimination, which means like how discrimination. How yeah. Racism. Race how... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So like, <laughs> have a gold you looking for. <laughs> but like, for example, you can set it to be like more or less picky based on like the different the uh, substances it's picking up. You've got the shaft, you grasp it by the shaft. Okay. And then um, obviously this is your sensor here. See if and you can so get her nose ring. See if yeah. it works. <laughs> I so, think I gotta set the discrimination tool. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can get it. I'm unreadable. You ready? Oh, no, it might be a little too small. Let's put the headphones on the mic and see if it'll... Okay. Right. Yeah. So, let's see. Yeah. What are you hearing, Brian? <laughs> got a metal plate in her head somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it is going on. <laughs> yeah. What do you have up there? Okay, so it wasn't exactly like that. But honestly, that's the way that diving with awesome gadgets makes me feel. And spoiler alert, we didn't uncover a priceless sunken treasure chest. But damn if it wasn't one of the funnest dives I've had. Our normal dive routine consists of filming everything, and admittedly, sometimes focusing more on getting the shot than on the simple joy of diving. But on this dive, we mostly put the cameras down and just frolicked around the site with our latest and greatest gadget and our amazing new dive buddies. Tune in next time as we go sailing on Delos, dive the largest wreck in the Caribbean, and continue to explore the beautiful island of Grenada. Mm -hmm.